Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Old School RuneScape Twisted League. So it's been a couple days since the Twisted League began, and I've been hard at work training my skills, um, but not too hard. Like, overall, since obviously this progress gets deleted in two months, I'm not going to try hard this and spend every waking minute trying to maximize my skills. So I'm just kind of having fun with what I do. So this is what my levels are at. I've been doing Barbarian Fishing to train up my agility since I chose the least popular of the first relics, the prayer one. Um, and I think I'm probably going to choose one of the least popular ones again, because it's time for us to choose our second relic. Now something weird is, once you earn the points, you have to hit claim points. And it, it doesn't give you the points until then, so like, technically, the person in first place, if they never claimed their points, they could wait until the last second and jump to first place. So I don't know how I feel about that, being the way it works. But anyway, let's claim points. And then we can click uh, here to select... Alright, so here are the relics we have. We have Hardcore Harvester, which gives you three times the normal amount of resources from mining, fishing, woodcutting, harvesting herbs, blast mining, and farming contracts. You don't get extra XP. You get three times as many Mulk Pearls, if I'm saying that. I have no mulch. No idea. Aerial Fishing. I've never aerial fished before, so... Yeah, and farming cycles occur every one minute instead of every five minutes. So this... I mean, I don't think I want three times the amount of resources, but the farming cycles thing would definitely be nice if you were trying to get farming up there, or just wanted to get a lot of herbs and stuff. So, like, the most tempting thing of this one for me is the farming cycles one, but is that enough to make me choose it over the other two? Well, let's see. Arcane Courier. Um, all winter taught? I don't know how to pronounce that. I've never done it. I've never heard anyone pronounce it, so, yeah. I meant to look it up before I recorded this episode, but I didn't, so... It's just winter taught. Um, crates and resources gathered from mining, fishing, woodcutting, harvesting crops, and blast mining are automatically sent to the bank. So basically, this one kind of has a synergy with my limited run ability, because running to the bank, obviously, is a bit annoying when you run out of run energy. Um, but overall, this really plays to the strengths of what I like to do, which is, you know, kind of semi-AFK skilling and that's what this is for. And then the last one, Unnatural Selection. When receiving Slayer Tasks and Farming Contracts, you can now choose what you are assigned. I don't know much about Farming Contracts, I can kind of guess what they're like. Um, doesn't really interest me, like farming is not a skill that's high on my list of things to do. Uh, slayer Tasks, obviously that would be fun, and being able to choose ones that are either good or not popular. But is it worth doing that whenever, you know, eventually I'll stop slaying. Unless I go for, like, Slayer 200 mil, which I don't think I'm going to. Probably get 99 at some point. But yeah, it's like, I don't know. I think this is probably the least popular one, but I think it's the one I'm gonna go with. Just because I just love the idea of just being able to, like, sit at a tree and chop it, not have to do anything. I don't know, like, that's what I like about RuneScape in general. Well, I liked it whenever they added Ivy back in the day. You could just chop it, didn't have to worry about banking anymore. But yeah, I think this is probably the least popular one. And people will probably say I'm dumb for choosing it. But we are choosing it. I did want to see how it works. Yeah, we get that nice little animation. So yeah, there we are. Arcane Courier. But yeah, I want to see, is it all of them or is it only when your inventory is full? That's my question. It looks like it is all of them. So there is a downside to that, and I thought this would be how it works. So like, if you wanted to chop a tree and then make a fire, you can't do that with this. Hey, look at that. Fishing 63. So that that is a downside, and I do wish... Like, they have these icons over here. I wish you could tap the icon to disable your relic. I think that's a feature they should definitely look into for the next league. If not as an update to this one, just because... It's kind of annoying to get a benefit. Like, same with the auto-bearing bones. Like... If you wanted a bone for something, like if there is anything in Zaya that needs a bone, I'm doomed. I can't get bones as an item, unless there is a way to turn it off, which I don't know. I mean, I guess I could try. No. There does not appear to be any way to turn it off. So that's fun. Yeah, we can go ahead and look at the tasks that I have completed so far in this little update here. Mostly it's the level 20 stuff, you know, we got... A few quests. I've done three of the quests so far. Client of Curand, Queen of Thieves, and down here, Depths of Despair. Which was a 50-pointer, which was nice. Got level 60 fishing, which was 50 points. So yeah, we started getting into the 50 points ones. 
Or 790 points until the next relic. I don't know if that one I'm going to be choosing an unpopular choice or not. I'd have to relook at the choices. I think it basically comes down to there's which uh, skills you want to earn more XP in. And that's a tough choice. But uh, we'll see. I have learned a few things about this. Okay, that's interesting. I noticed that before that if you uh, have a menu open whenever the fishing spot moves and then you close it, you run over to the fishing spot. It's strange. Um, but yeah. There's a few things I've learned. Like, I think maybe the construction cape is the only one you can get in Zaya. So if you want a 99 cape, I think that's the skill you have to go for. I've not even started construction yet. It's among the skills that I have not touched, along with Fletching and Hunter. And I'm going to start on a Hunter soon, because Implings are a good source of random items that might otherwise be hard or impossible to get in Zaya. So I definitely wanted to get my Hunter up. I just wanted to get um, the Relic for one thing. But also, I wanted to get my Agility up a little bit. And it doesn't hurt getting this free strength experience either. It was definitely a lot easier to get my combat up for Depths of Despair once I did that. Obviously, I've barely done any Slayer. I'm still on my first Slayer task. And uh, I haven't had a task, obviously, that has prayer um, bones drop. So I'm not gaining prayer levels yet. Except from random people that I've killed just to get a little bit of a prayer level. But uh, yeah, overall, I think this is kind of how it'll go is... I'll probably do an update video I'll try to do once a week, no promises, where I will show my levels, my tasks, um, my high scores. Speaking of that, uh, let's go ahead and do that. This is something I'm going to try to remember to do. There we go. Now that's where my high scores were at before I logged in. So you can see I didn't have my league points, even though I technically earned 410. In the high scores, I don't. So that's a strategy you could use there. But you can see that uh, I have a few skills, like Fishing rank uh, 3,240. Surprising that's that high. Herb Lore, I've not even really trained properly. I've just been throwing free experience into it, and we're in the top 3k on that, which is pretty crazy. Not that these scores mean anything. It's just kind of an interesting thing, like how few people have 40 agility. Even though it is useful, you get shortcuts and stuff as well, in addition to things. And from what my understanding of this is that at level 60 agility, you can train at Winter Tot, and uh, that's the fastest training method. So the goal is, of course, to at least do Barbarian Fishing until I hit 60 agility. Whether or not I do that all before I go train Hunter, or, you know, just kind of spread it out throughout the week, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, though, what I was saying, yeah. So yeah, we'll do, um, we'll do, like, try to do once a week check-ins, as long as things have changed. If nothing has changed, I won't bother doing an episode. But I think, given how fast things work, we should have at least a little bit gained each week, enough to make like a one minute video, if nothing else. But I will also, of course, do videos for the relics, whenever the relic comes up. I'm not going to wait until the weekly video to do a relic, because that's dumb, I miss out on the benefits. Some of which are quite useful, like increasing XP and skills, you know? If I choose the one that boosts construction XP, and then I can train construction twice the speed or whatever, whatever the multiplier is for that one. Like, that's important stuff that you don't want to put off. And yeah, I think my first 99 will probably end up being cooking. Um, not sure on that one, it could end up being something else, but what, basically what's going to happen here is I'll get the Hasidious ranking up to the point where I can do the uh, cooking mess hall thing. And that will probably be what I do to 99 and maybe beyond, I don't know. Maybe cooking will be a skill where I go for the much higher tier tasks, because there are some tasks here. Uh, let's go ahead and complete, that would probably help. Yeah, there are some tasks that uh, we can do. 200 million is a task. I think going for 200 million, unless you're really try-harding, I don't think you'd realistically get that in many skills. I think you could... I think most players, if they played decently enough, you could get it in one skill pretty nicely, but getting a bunch of them, like, it'll be interesting to see. I'm very interested to see, at the end of this two months, how many people, like, will there be people with a maximum score? I don't know. I kind of doubt it. I want to see what the maximum score is, though. I'm not going for it, you know. It's like I said in the last episode, my goal is just, you know, top 40%. If I do better, great. I'll try to do better. But I will be satisfied as long as I get that Mithril rank. 
and uh, that is what we will go for. But yeah, it's like 50 million is also a reward worth 500 points. So it's like 50 million I think is realistic. I think you could get 50 million in a lot of skills if you really tried. But I don't, other than that, I don't know if there's any other millions that are here. It doesn't look like it. Oh, no, here it is. Two, 25 million is also one. That's definitely realistic. You could probably do 25 million all. I would say. There might be one or two skills that's kind of hard in, but given two months and the increased XP rate, like if you choose your multipliers correctly, you can get a pretty huge multiplier. In, I think, I could be wrong, but it could end up being like 20x um, in some skills, not in all skills, if you choose the right relics. So if you chose the right skills that, the skills that you know are hard to train, such as, I don't know, I've heard runecrafting's hard to train. I tossed a lamp into it from Clan of Curin, which was probably a waste. I probably should have done some other skill. Like, even her war probably would have been more worth it, but eh, who cares? It's only 2,500 experience. In the end, it hardly makes a difference. It's just nice to skip those early levels in some skills. But yeah, that was probably a waste. Probably, I probably would have done construction if I was choosing again today. Uh, but yeah. So in terms of the map, getting over here, you can uh, teleport from here to here after you get here and talk to someone for the first time, but this right here is a dangerous place uh, when you're low level. And I've also been all the way up to here, which wasn't so bad. Running through the battlefront, I got attacked by one guy, got poisoned, ran all the way up here, had 2 HP left, and ate some food at the bank, and then got my Slayer task, which was fun. Yeah, that's about the extent of my journey. Most of my time has been spent running around here, not really getting much done. Been doing. I did a little bit of mining and smithing earlier today to finally upgrade to an iron scimitar. I've, like I said, I'm not really like rushing. Combat has not been a priority. The only reason I got my combat up was to do depths of despair. Otherwise, I would probably still be combat 20 instead of 34. Uh, I will at some point start on combat but it's not my uh, big interest right now. And the thing is, like, right now, everyone's still low level, so they're all fighting over the same low level things. Like, I heard people talking about how someone got a Banshee Slayer task on the first day, and they just quit because they couldn't get a single kill, and they had to kill, like, over 100. Um, things like that, and it's like, yeah, there's no really... I'm not gonna be the first, and if you're not in first place, then you got... A billion other people you're competing with because even now like if we look on the world switcher the world's uh, it is a saturday afternoon and the worlds are in the 700 800 range this one being a lot higher um do i still have inventory room oh right i don't have to worry about inventory room anymore duh i have to get used to that uh but the lowest i saw them was in the 500s at like 1 a.m the other night I've not seen any drop below maybe like the 490s, so it's always pretty crowded no matter what time of day. For now, I suspect that a lot of people are going to go for the amount of points that you need to get the uh, in-game cosmetic rewards, because there's certain rewards you can get. I don't know if the info page has info on those. There's our goal there, Mithril. Yeah, rewards, points can be used to buy rewards in the League's Reward Shop. And also you get League Rank Worlds. Like, that's one of the cool things, I think. And part of why I want Mithril is if you get a uh, certain rank, then you get access to a world that applies to that rank. So well, you would, in the next League, I would only have to compete with people who ranked Mithril or higher in the uh, last one. I have to really watch for these genies and stuff. don't want to miss one. Um, I think that's cool, but... Yeah, anyway, I think a lot of people will, will probably give up once soon after reaching whatever goal they have on those, because they just want to show off in the main game that they did it. And uh, so I think there's like this certain ledge where, you know, once you get past a certain amount of points, you'll jump way up in rank. And it's kind of hard to tell how big of a difference that will make right now. But we will see over the time to find out uh, how realistic it would be for me to get Mithril or higher. I mean, I really am hoping we can do better than Mithril, but I don't make any um, 
any predictions because I am a noob. I've not done most of this content. I've never done Chambers of Zarek. I've never done Winter Tot. I've never. I've not even done all the quests on Zaya. I've never done the Lovakinj quest on my main account. So, yeah, I'm not much of a noob at this place. So for me to say I can do really good, I don't think would be realistic. But let's hope I can do good enough. Anyway, this has gone on a lot longer than I thought it would. I don't think most of the episodes will be this long. They'll probably be in the matter of five minutes or less, just showing things off. Probably do longer episodes for certain key points, like when we finally get to Winter Tot. I'll probably show that off because I've never done that in an episode before. And it'll kind of show the XP rate you can expect from doing the agility hopping in there because that's going to be fun doing that constantly. I think they said it's like 25k XP an hour, but I think that's before the 5x multiplier. So that'd be a pretty decent XP rate if that's the case. Hopefully that's the case because I feel like if it's not the case, I would go insane. Yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. It will probably be, I would say, I would probably try to do the uh, weekly episodes either on like a Thursday or a Friday. So it's kind of like a week from the start. And uh, yeah, so expect the next episode either when I get the next relic or on Thursday or Friday next week. See you guys then, bye.